What is up everybody, Darius the Nerd here, and welcome to a new playthrough that I'll be starting, and uh, show that title card. And now that we're back, let's get straight into it. No more wasting no more time. No more wasting no more time. Anyway, <laughs> let's do this. So I have played Mass Effect 1 before, and I've played Mass Effect 2 before, but I've never finished 3. So I'm figuring with this series, not only will I be able to um, finish the trilogy, like actually finish the trilogy, um, perhaps even... Oh, my controller disconnected. Maybe even we can go ahead and play the fourth one together. I don't usually do um, first time playthroughs, but now that I can play in HD and actually get the full experience, like you guys, then that's not really a problem. And my controller is complete dookie butter. Let's try this bad boy out. Let's see how this one works. Oh, please work. Classified. Establishing secure oh, not, not that classified, apparently, so that didn't work. Alright, so instead of being lame old John Shepard, we're gonna be we're gonna be a custom male. Um and instead of John, we're gonna be uh um I can't think of a name. Let's be let us be um Alright, getting all the creative juices. Let's be Darius, alright? Darius. Okay. Alright then. Darius Shepard. No. Shit. Damn it. Okay, well, I guess we're <laughs> we're gonna have to stick with this. Alright, Darius Shepard. Let's let's just stick with that. I had a good one, but um Warning. Data what? corruption detected. Is this supposed to happen or Alright, well that ends the series, guys. Data corruption. Oh. Confirm Okay, alright. Now let's take a look here. Now the first episode, I'm not gonna lie to you, I may skip a couple parts here and there, but um, uh, the first part is basically gonna be creating our character. And not only will this first part be a little, um, bit long, but some people may not like it. So I am, like I said before, gonna skip some here and there. But um, for those that do want to stick around for this part, feel free. I might even title this like part zero or something because it's not really starting the story. But, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be Earthborn because you know being the underdog is cool, and it's, I'm gonna be, uh, da, 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 da. uh, I'm gonna do the Soul Survivor. Confirm military specialization. And I, I know, you see, I don't want to be boring, but I really, really like the soldier. I know the adept is pretty cool, like biotic specialists are actually really cool. Uh, but they can only use, w receive weapons training in pistols, and I don't know. I'm not really feeling that. Infiltrator. Hmm. Ah. Uh. See, these are pretty cool, but you know what? You know what? Um. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and do a soldier. Confirm facial identification. And we are not keeping this guy. So, uh, like, for parts that I said I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward instead of skipping. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward all this creating a person and, uh, starting now. We got a long ass head, long ass, big ass face. Oh! Who's like a kiki? Okay, um. Uh. Let, let's go with. Let's go with this one. And we're gonna be around there, right, right around there. Uh, scars, scars are badass. It means you lose fights, but it also means you survive fights as well. Ooh, that was. See, that's not a good guy, Scar. That's not really a good. That's a. I mean, it could be like an anti-hero. I'm not feeling that. It looks like you break yourself getting pizza rolls off the oven or got a whooping. Um, that was kind of cool. Kind of cool. Now I want a booty chin. I like this one. I'm gonna go with that. Next thickness. You see, I like creating characters, right? 
But sometimes th th there is a thing such as too many options. Now the thing is, though, the good thing about getting a lot of options is that it, you know that gives the YouTubers that create those badass like um, creating celebrities like people who create Tupac and all that. Like I, I love those videos. I think it's very cool. So I don't I don't want to say get rid of them, but for me it's like it's kind of overwhelming. Like Jesus Christ, I don't know what my eye shape is. I don't know what my neck thickness is. Like. But that's just me though, because I like to create myself in video games, or at least some version of myself. I like to roleplay. Call me a nerd, but I mean, I already kind of did with this channel name. Um, I height. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Death. We don't know where all this, actually. Oh no, I got around there. Now this is either not going to look like me, it's going to look kind of like me. Who cares? Me. <laughs> I care. Alright. Draw. Forget that. Mouth shape. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go with these. Lip size, we don't wanna be Jay Z. But we don't wanna be like a, a crocodile or something like that. Now, now see, this is what I can get into, because I got a fast nose, so. Where's the, um, where's the biggest nose we can get? Okay, that's too big. I'd say. I'd say around here. That's, def that's definitely around where my nose would fall. And here, you see, Mass Effect doesn't have the greatest selection of hairs. They're, they're kind of plain and boring, to be honest. But if I had to pick one, huh. Da -da -da. You don't get the drakes. And they don't have any afros. That's disappointing. They got receding hairline and a whole bunch of dumb stuff. Let's go with this. Short hair. Keep it classic. This is about as black as we can get right here. And the facial hair color is going to be black. Alright, I think we're pretty much done here. Hmm. Let's go back to the uh, scars. We're gonna finalize this guy. Dare you, Shepard. Uh, can I go back, actually? Mm. Confirm facial identification. That's fine. Ah, crap. Alright, we're gonna go with this. Dare you, Shepard. That's the name we're sticking with. Earthborn, Reputation, Soul Survivor, and we're the Soldier class. Let's do this. Identification. Combat level. <sighs> um. I haven't played Mass Effect. Now, Mass Effect 1 is actually a little difficult. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do normal for now. Auto level up and turn that off for now. Target assist. Um, do that high. And then, squad power usage is gonna be active. We want our people to be in the fight. We don't want them to be robots and I have to tell them all the time what to do. I don't like that. And then, auto save, of course, on. I mean,. Why wouldn't I do that? But sometimes autosave does mess you up in games. Some game autosaves are just... are ridiculous. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. By the way, I'm gonna try to not talk too much during the cutscenes. But I mean, if you really want to know what's going on, go ahead and play the game for yourself. That's my whole motto on that. You could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discover the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that follow, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling tra travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of time and space. Space and time. They call it the d Fuck! Mass Effect. Damn it. <laughs> Put my reading on the spot. Come on, you ain't gonna embarrass me like that. Jupiter! I think. Something like that. Characters Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. I've been feeling like the man when I walk through. I feel like man, what a actually I haven't really done anything. Well, no, my backstory says I've done some stuff, but yeah, I mean we got plenty of legends to craft. What's good, brother? Excuse me, young Obama coming through. Woo! Damn, my eyebrows thick. 
I think I have made a mistake. Thrusters, navigation, check, internal emissions sync engaged, all systems online, drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes I the agree. Story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the car. Oh, damn it, I'm in trouble. You get that, Commander? Is he upset? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine. All right, so here we are. Young Obama, I mean, Darius Shepard, and we're doing the damn thing. I'm going to talk to Caden. No, I'm going to talk to Joker. What's good, brother? The All right. Well, nobody wants to talk. Kaden, what's good? You probably All right. Uh, well, <laughs> making the friends is going pretty damn well, if I have to say so myself. So, let's go to the principal's office, and we're gonna find out what the hell he wants. Cause I certainly don't know. Like I said, I haven't played this in who knows how long, and <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this game. Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance. Uh, where's Captain Schmanderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. All right. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond, uh, beyond, be no, I wouldn't know. I don't. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie for conversation's sake. Here. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity oh wait, I am a human, so I would know. God dang it! Galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? Uh, why are you asking that? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Was good, Keith. I think it's about time Keith. The commander what's really Keith. Keith. Uh, uh, Richard. <laughs> is his name Keith Richards? I forgot. Oh, uh, I knew it. That's what I knew it was Keith Richards. I figured Keith there was something. You something. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. All right. Well, why the secrecy? Punks. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a neat. Uh, note. Oh, so. A research team on Eden Prime. So it's like that. Okay. Kind of well, I'm not offended. During an excavation, it was broken. All right, I remember those. So just tell me the rest. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in council space. Well, why did we tell the... No. Yeah, why did we tell the council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, 
even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. I should have known! Because that's how I video games I work. To every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate what? for the Spectre. You put my name forward! Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. Because I'm, because I'm a beast. I mean, I don't blame you. I mean, it, it it's not that hard to understand. I, I'm flattered, honestly, but <laughs> I mean, shit. You, you support this, though? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you. Uh, I'm ready to go. No more wasting no time. Let's just let's get it! We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from well, Eden. Well, maybe, maybe we'll this. wait a little bit. Bring it up on screen. Go. Okay, I was about to say, um... Get down! Was this like a hood fight or something? Because that's definitely how it's being recorded. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. I'll see you, brother. Yeah. Well, he looks like me. The claw hand from that's the claw hand from the little skill game. Oh shoot! Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the thirty-eight point five. Status report. Seventeen minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission is oh. complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko, Alenko you mean Janae Je Aiko? Gotta eat the booty like groceries, Janae Aiko? I think this game just got a lot more interesting. Engaging stealth systems. Serious dig in here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in here. Dick site. Oh, dick site. Sorry. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. Gotcha, Dodger. Your top priority. Roger, Dodger. Approaching drop point one. Oh, you coming with us? Okay, never mind. But my homie was gonna be joining us. Well, Nihilus will scout out ahead. Never mind. I, I wanted to ask. The mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. He could count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. I wanted to ask, Come whatever on. happened to Nihilus? Maybe we'll find out. Let's do this! Young Darius Shepard is sexy, but is he able to stop what's going down on this alien planet? And speaking of this alien planet, just what is Master Hand from Super Smash Brothers doing here? Find out.
What is up everybody, Darius the Nerd here, and welcome to a new playthrough that I'll be starting, and uh, show that title card. And now that we're back, let's get straight in, let's be, let us be, um... Alright, getting all the creative juices. Let's be Darius, alright? Darius. Okay. Alright then. Darius Shepard. No. Shit. Damn it. Okay, well, I guess we're <laughs> we're gonna have to stick with this. Alright, Darius Shepard. Let's let's just stick Classified. Establishing secure. Oh, not, not that classified apparently, so that didn't work. Confirmed. Alright, so instead of being lame old John Shepard, we're gonna be we're gonna be a custom male. Um and instead of John, we're gonna be uh um I can't think right into it. No more wasting no more time. No more wasting no more time. Anyway, <laughs> let's do this. So I have played Mass Effect 1 before, and I've played Mass Effect 2 before, but I've never finished 3. So I'm figuring with this series, not only will I be able to um, finish the trilogy, like actually finish the trilogy, um, perhaps even... Oh, my controller disconnected. Maybe even we can go ahead and play the fourth one together. I don't usually do um, first time playthroughs, but now that I can play in HD and actually get the full experience, like you guys, then that's not really a problem. And my controller is complete dookie butter. Let's try this bad boy out. Let's see how this one works. Oh, please work.